I can briefly introduce you to Winsim. Winsim is a software we can use to simulate system dynamic models. If you put the underlying equation and click uh, the run icon, the one shown here, the guy running, it will run the simulation. If you do not put the equations, you can still draw some nice diagrams like you know like causal loop diagram etc. There are nice arrows etc. It can help you do that. Uh, this is one of the most simplest interfaces I have seen. Though there are many icons, the icons of interest are what is highlighted there. Uh, so, there is a fourth icon from the left 1, 2, 3 forget it nothing this is just lock screen this is just to move things around. Uh, this one which has a pencil and they and alphabets V A R I think V A R we use it to define auxiliary variable and there is a pencil with a rectangle with V A R written that is to create a stock and then one arrow link to create a link that is a causal link and a double headed arrow with a valve symbol that you just saw whatever we have been using the same thing is used to define a rate link. That is exactly what we need we do not need anything else all other things are for just visualizing deleting and things like that. This is like the pac man thing to delete uh, not needed. So, this is the entire thing you will ever be using for building models apart from Wensim there are other softwares like I think power sim software name is I think I am not thinking I think power sim any logic etcetera. So, the symbols may be slightly different, but you just look for if they use a variable rate some may use the term flow rate some may use the term level instead of stock, uh, but usually they have a symbol you know come on rectangle how there are so many ways only you can draw a rectangle. So, they will have that or double headed arrow will roughly be the same with the valve symbol maybe they get more graphic with the symbol of the valve, but pretty much this one. And once we simulate we will be using the icons on the left side to visualize the output you just click the variable click that graph symbol you will get a graph immediately uh, and if you. So, these first two are for the graphs the next two are for actually seeing the values that are simulated. So, once you get the actual values you can see and understand what is the computation happening or sometimes uh, you will get to out at simulation because this is just just numerical integration nothing else it is just just numerical integration. So, sometimes it will say out of bounds or values too high or value crosses 0. So, then you can actually see the numbers and see where it happened and what is happening and things that or you can copy paste it into excel to get better graphs out of system. Uh, so, there is a free software the student version is free you can download it from wensim.com you have to go register yourself give your email id they will send you a link then you download the software. Uh, yeah, So, we will be using this in the in this course yeah this is the Wensim interface you click downloads and go to free downloads and go for the Wensim PLE it works only on windows and mac. If your Linux laptop install Wine, it works fine in Wine, no problem. Yeah, you just fill the details, click download, you get the software, and that's sufficient for our course purposes. Looks like I download a slightly new one. So you hear already it's different from the picture I showed in the slide, and apologize for that. It explicitly says variable, level, arrow, rate, better symbols. So we'll just go with that. Simulate is the play button here. And left side, these are all the images. Looks like that picture is of an older version of Wensum. Uh, so, this is more clearer. The first we do is when you create a new model, the only thing it asks is initial time, final time, time step, and what is the general time units that we are looking at. Let us say we are going to model this interest rate example. So, we want to keep the say time units as year. And say time step as 1, final time there it was 15. So, let us you know let us take it say 20 time units to the time step of 1. Click OK, you get just a blank screen. So, we had one rate, one flow, say same thing, one rate, one stock, and auxiliary variable. So, first 
always put the stock it is easier I will tell you why and then you put a rate. So, all I did was I did not draw anything I just clicked it somewhere and just wrote the name it gave the rectangle there is no right click left click just one click and then you click rate then you click we want it to go the direction. So, start point to end point start is outside the system you click somewhere there there is no I am not clicking and dragging then you just move it and somewhere inside the stock again make one more click then it will ask the name of the variable net uh, that is called net income and you got this stock diagram. If you do not click it inside and if you click it somewhere outside then the cloud will appear on both ends like this rate if I click it here and click it here and so call it then I get cloud on both sides. So, sometimes we happen this and suppose I go very here and click it ok this is connected, but sometimes it may not connect I am just going to delete this yeah, all these. So, this is a delete button and I want one variable that was the uh, interest rate and move our size by moving it here arrows again same thing I click on inside the variable name and to get a curved arrow it has a nice feature you click it somewhere in the white area and then you click the next variable name will give you a curved arrow principle then again white area then I do this I get a nice curved arrows. We will have a specific exercise for that next week. So, just observe then we give you values for each equations you have to click equations here then everything in black means you have not given any equation further. So, let us go to principal it already shows integration of net income I am already in integrating net income. So, I have nothing else to add there the initial value we told is 100 the main thing we need to write here is what is the units. So, that I can do the units check. So, units here is let us define it as rupees R s. So, that is a unit that is only thing I added here and added initial value 100 I click ok this became white it means some equation is put where equation is right or wrong it won't tell there is something written there as part of the equation and uh, let us go to interest rate interest rate is a constant value so let us just put it as constant 0.15 and units is 1 by year time unit is year the fraction thing is just one, 1 over year and I go to net income and in an equations I have to multiply interest rate into principal. So, on the big box here you see all the variables which is flowing into the this variable which is connected to this variable. So, you need to form in this case interest rate and principal both the values are coming to the uh, net income. So, I need to form an equation considering both suppose I skip 1 I just put interest rate it will say following input is not used, but was expected. So, then you know you have a causal link and then you can again go back and then multiply it add it and units of this will be rupees per year ok. So, that is it then if you go to model say uh, units check so, save it all units are ok good then you go to model check model model is ok else it will show there is a type mismatch units mismatch or some variable is connected you forgot the equation or some variable is defined, but you, it is not connected to anything else whatever errors it will just show. So, once we do that we just click the simulate button. I just simulated it. The simulation is done. It doesn't take so so long to simulate. So you can simulate it again. Overwrite the data set. Uh, 
So, in principle, now I want to see what is happening. I just clicked it, then it becomes whatever is selected will be black, right? Suppose this is what I want, I click this graph and I see the graph for the system. Nothing uh, as I resize it, it automatically rescales it for you, or some legends come. If you want to see the underlying values, then I click uh, this one, then I can exactly see the values uh, what is being computed, right. Uh, I can look at other graph also, net income. Uh, this is one interesting thing. Suppose I click this one and I click causes trip, it shows how that variable changes along with all the variables which are acting as input to this stock is only affected by the flow. So, by one flow in this case. So, that stock and how that corresponding flow is happening. So, sometimes it is useful to see all these things together so that you can compare and we can create much more complicated graphs that even if it is not connected you can select them and visualize it we will learn some of those features later. For modeling per se that is it, it is not too difficult people can do it difficulties finding the equation, but drawing it per se it is as simple as what you thought.